Boom! What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want to talk about trading after hours because this is um, a question that you guys have asked here a lot on the channel. I know I did a video um, about trading pre-market and after hours um, a long time ago, and some of you guys are frustrated in that video because I, I didn't really show the examples. I just talked about it. So today, I want to show you guys um, with example and then also give you guys some tricks that I have actually found that is very useful. So um, watch the video all the way to the end because I'm gonna explain to you guys some of the tricks when it comes to trading after hours um, in this video. But before we get started guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So if you guys know, the, one of the reasons why I like the Weibo platform is that it gives me the ability to trade pre-market and after hours. So again, like in today's video, we're talking about after hours in particular. Uh, for those of you that don't understand what that means, um, when the market opens, central time for me is at 8.30 a.m. Um, usually you can trade from 8.30 to 3 p.m. when the market closes. And then after that, you can still trade, but at that point, the market is actually closed, but you're trading after hours, and there's uh, certain key things that can limit your ability to trade after hours. Number one is the platform. So if the platform allows you to trade, then that's really, really good. So I love Weibo because Weibo allows you to be able to do that. So uh, again, just a recap here, Weibo's um, after hours starts from 3 p.m all the way to 7 p.m. Uh, Central Time. So if you're Eastern Time or Pacific Time or Mountain Time, do the math and figure out what that, time's, um, that time is for you. And the same thing for uh, pre-market, it starts at 3 a.m. Central Time to 8.30. Um, Central Times, 8.30 a.m. Central Time. So again, do the math to see what works for you. So when it comes to trading after hours, uh, for me, the first thing I do is um, I'm looking at two things. Number one would be earnings report. Am I trading a particular stock that has their earnings that particular day? So if I know that a stock has their earning and I've done my research and anticipate that the price of the stock is going to go up, then I'm going to put that one on my watch list to trade after hours because I want to watch them and see what they are doing. And if the price is moving, then I want to go in and make some profit. Number two is that some stocks are just kind of, you know, gap because they have some good news, stocks that I don't know, but because volume moves, um, you know, the percentage change move we both would kind of rank those on their their top gainers after hours and then i can go on that list and start reading and picking the stocks looking at the news and see why they're gapping then i can trade those so those are the two main areas where i find stocks that i trade after hours again a lot of these stocks are in that area uh in on we bought top gainers after hours so you can just go through it filter it and then make your own list and sometimes it, it they move so fast uh, that you don't have time and then um, again, for you, if you're new to trading after hours, guys, I would say first just pump the brakes, take your time, trade very small quantities. So buy maybe uh, five shares or two shares or even one share and trade it and make sure that you understand the process of going in and out, which I'm going to show you guys uh, here subsequently. So to go in and out of a trade after hours, it's not the same like you going in and out of a trade during regular hours. There's a little bit of limitations, which again, we're going to cover and I'm going to show you guys how to overcome that um, towards the end of this video. So you need to practice with very uh, minimal quantity. Make sure that you understand the risk Number one big risk is volume. Most often than not, during after hours, there is less volume. So uh, when you go into a trade, uh, you get filled, you want to get out. Sometimes you don't get filled out at the price that you want to get filled out because there's really no volume. So you have to be very careful. Uh, you might go in and get stuck in a position, uh, end up coming out lower than where you wanted to come out uh, because uh, there's really no volume. So you definitely have to keep that um, at the back of your mind. So again, those are some of the things, again, like I said, I'm going to tell you guys the tricks that I'm using but before let's jump in i'm going to show you guys with some examples here um so as i said for instance there's two stocks that i'm watching i'm watching wthr and redu so i'm watching these stocks after hours again if you see um this wt um rh um squeeze this thing started from like eight um 82 cents and squeeze all the way to a dollar 
a dollar twelve. If you can see that right there, all the way to a dollar twelve, and then and then pull back. Now it's sitting below VWAP um, right here, some sort of consolidation. <clears throat> The one thing I want you to understand here is that even though we're trading after hours, we still stick to our principles. We still stick to our VWAP strategy. So if you can see right here, so if I were trading this, um, again, I would still want to go into this when this thing break VWAP. If you can see it broke VWAP right here, and then this is where you probably put your, um, you know, your entry point. So again, after hours, you can only input limit orders. You cannot input uh, market orders. So you can only put limit orders to buy. So in this case, if you want to go in, you would set your limit order and then and then buy. So again, I'm going to show you guys here real quick. I'm going to do a, a quick trade here um, and then uh, just to show you guys. I don't intend to hold this that long. So uh, let's say we buy. I'm just going to buy 50 shares because that's going to be like 50 right now it's about 50 bucks and some change okay so we do 50 shares and um the current price of the stock right now let's move this so we can see so the current price of the stock right now is a dollar uh point two point zero two point zero two so if i want to go in it this is limit order because i want to get fill here real quick so i'm gonna put this at point zero one and then notice that i put uh time and force is good till cancel um, if I put day and then it's going to cancel that order once uh, the day is over. So I put good till cancel it means it can stay here till tomorrow morning. It will still fail me. And then most importantly, if you're trading after hours, this is the key on the Weibo platform. You definitely, um, you cannot miss this. You definitely have to check extended hours. You set that to yes. Because uh, what I've seen is a lot of you guys are always complaining like, hey, Mr. V, I put in my order and it, it, it didn't fill me. It, it got to my, my price point, but never filled me. So this is the reason is because you probably place your order, but you didn't put um, extended hours set to yes. If you didn't do that, then it wouldn't fill you. So that's why you have that issue. So in this case, if I want to get fill and then I'll set, I set that to yes, and then I can place, you just simply click place order um in this case i want to buy sorry guys here let's click buy i place my order and you can see that my order is in so key things here just so you are aware of when it comes to um after hours trading you cannot use stop loss and take profit this only works during regular uh market hours so from from 8 30 a.m to 3 p.m you can use stop loss slash take profit in um in Weibo. So after hours, you cannot use that. So basically what I do is um, once my position uh, gets filled, so in this case, let's look at right now, it, I'm not even getting filled, even though it looks like the price is sitting at my current limit price. That's why I said volume, it's a huge thing. So I'm right, I'm sitting right there and I'm not getting filled um, so you, as you can see. So this is something that we have to be very careful about. So until we get filmed, then I'm going to show you guys uh, what you have to do. So because I don't have the ability to do stop loss slash take profit, once I get filled, I'm going to turn around very quick and place a sell order. So um, which is thing can get us filled so we can keep on moving here. Let me see. I'm going to move this up a little bit so we can get filled. Hopefully. Okay, there we go. So we got fill uh, right now um, at uh, 1.02. So that's the fill price that we got in. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to turn around real quick. Um, I'm going to pick my target price. Let's say I want this thing to get all the way to 1.13. So I'm going to go to 1.13. I'm going to create a new order sell and the quantity that I ordered there was 50. Um, so I'm going to set 50 and then I'm going to put my price 1.13, which is good. Then notice I say time um, and force is good till cancel so that even if I forget this thing goes to tomorrow and then it can still sell. So that's why I like it. I don't like doing the day because if I put day at the end of the uh, after hours, which is 7 p.m. my time, this order is going to be canceled. So if I happen to sleep in in the morning and I don't get up, get up early to place a, uh, my sell order, then I'm probably going to miss an opportunity to sell. So always do go to cancel. And then obviously extended hours set to yes. We want to set that. Once this is set, looks good. The price that we want looks good. Then um, at this point, you can we can put sell. So let's say if I just anticipate that this thing can get to uh, one uh, one five, yeah, so a dollar uh, fifty. 
then I'll just place that order right there and then I would just go ahead and say um, sell um, right now see my order is sitting right there and I'm just gonna sit and wait um, so in this case let's say it gets to a um, dollar um, zero seven and I'm, I'm thinking maybe this thing is it's really looking like weak it's not gonna make it all the way to uh, one five then you can drag your order this uh, sell order up and down so so you can catch that that you can catch that anywhere you want to so I can just move this and put it right there and it, it can come up there and kind of execute and get get me out of that trade so that is something that you can easily do again you can move this back and forth just because you don't have the you don't have the ability to put a stop loss slash take profit because that only happens during uh, regular uh, market hours so in this case you have to be flexible make sure that you can move this back and forth um, fast enough um, to sell and get out of um, your position so again um, this is the way I approach it this is the way I do after hours and make sure that uh, I'm watching my my trade closely uh, one important thing that I want you guys to be aware of and this is the, the, the trick that I said I was going to teach you guys um, towards the end of the video um, most importantly is that um, um, since volume is low if you have a large position size let's say I bought 1,000 shares of WTRH um, once it comes to selling because there's less volume if you put 1,000 that is not gonna get filled as far as, as somebody that's selling just uh, 100 so you see 100 would get filled faster than 1,000 so what do I do I break up my sell order into multiple sell orders. So in this case right here, I have sell 50, right? So what I'll simply do is, I'm not gonna cancel that, I'm just gonna go here, do modify, um, and then change the quantity here to let's say 15, and then I'm gonna place that order. So at that point, it would sell 15. Then I can put another order, let's say right here, to sell another uh, 15. In this case, now we're sitting at 30. Um, at a price of 1.2 everything looks good and then I say sell another 15 right there so I have two sell orders right there and then my last sell order I can say oh if this thing ever get got up to uh, say 1.16 um, so or, yeah 1.16 I'll say sell the remaining uh, 20 um, of my shares at, at that point and, and then I'm out of the trade so I place that so you can see that I would have I would have three sell orders line up um, in this case and I can easily um, move each one of them up and down to secure uh, to secure profit in this case um, the execution has to be very fast if you're starting to see like hey this thing is moving uh, against me and then you can start trimming down your position too because all you have to do is uh, pull this down let's say right here uh, at 1.2 which was my entry price and then if it feels that and then you would see and I would I'll be down to just uh, the remaining 45 um, 35 shares so right now I'm sitting there waiting for this to be filled and again like I said since it's after hours volume is not really there so chances are you're not gonna get filled exactly when you expect because if this was um, regular hours this thing would have been filled already but because this is after hours uh, we don't have uh, a ton of volume so you end up seeing that it takes quite a bit of time for your orders to be filled so you have to be aware of that before you dive into trading um, after hours because it's very very important um, that you are able to get out of a trade when you want to so you can see here um, I was sitting here at 1.02 didn't get filled and the price has already dropped to 1.01 .01. so Again, you definitely have to be uh, aware that this thing can easily go um, the, the wrong way. So if I want this to fail quick, like if I move it down here, see, that's fail. Because, hey, people that have uh, the bid price of the stock, a lot of people are probably going after that bid and getting filled. So um, again, that's what I wanted to cover here um, in, in this video, guys. Just a quick recap here. Trading after hours um, on the Weibo platform, it's a very risky thing to do. Very, uh, trading after hours is not uh, as smooth as trading during regular hours. So key things I want you to be aware of, number one, is that you need to find stocks that have volume. 
Uh, number two, uh, where to find those stocks would give the Weibo top gainers after hours as a good place to go as well as earnings uh, um, stocks. So companies that are, are doing their earnings that particular day, that would be a great place to go to trade um, after hours. So find those stocks. Once you find them, you have to use limit orders. And again, on the Weibo platform, your we the limit orders, you have to set extended hours to yes for that order to be executed. If you don't set it to yes, if you set it to no, then that order is not going to execute. It's going to execute the next day when the market opens uh, at 830, which is not what you would want. So make sure you have that. And then uh, again, the trick of the trade that I wanted to teach you guys here is that once you have a, a large position, let's say I bought a thousand shares of this particular stock, instead of me selling a thousand at once, which there's a high possibility that I my, my order would not get filled, what I'm going to do is I'll break them up into chunks, maybe chunks of 200 a piece. And then that way, um, when I put my orders, they get executed faster and I can go in and out um, of that trade. So that is something that I want to make sure that you guys are aware of. So in this case, I'm, I'm gonna, just going to um, pull this down um, and get out of get out of the trade. Again, this, I was just using this for, for the demo. So um, get out. So right there, we're down to uh, just the remaining 20. So I'm going to pull this right here. Um, sell that and there we go and we're out of that trade um, and, and it's, it's just that simple so definitely uh, something that you would want to consider so there, there you go guys uh, when it comes to trading after hours um, on the Weaver platform again it's an easy way for you to make profit uh, if the stock is moving uh, if it's a stock that has their earnings and their earnings actually came out really good you can see um, movements up to 50, 60, up to 100%. I've seen 200% after hours uh, movement. So that is something that if you got in when it started popping and it gaps 200%, you're probably going to make a lot of money if you got in with uh, a good uh, amount of uh, share size. But again, the flip side is once you're in, it's so hard to get out. Uh, and most people, uh, one other thing, oh, this is, it just got to me and I didn't, I didn't think I even mentioned this already. Uh, one other thing I want you to be aware of is do not set your sell uh, price at, I was just going to say like the standard price to say sell at $3 or sell at $4. Always sell at say $3.99, uh, $4.99. That way the people waiting at 4 they would be the ones that are probably not going to get filled. So you get filled on your way to 4 because once it hits 4, it might start pulling back. But at that point, $3.99 is just $0.01. Cent. So you're not losing losing a ton of money, but you are guaranteed to at least get filled. So always use those fractions in between. It's a little secret that I actually learned too over the years. So again, let me know in the comment section uh, what you guys think. Um, when it comes to trading after hours, I think it's cool if you know what you're doing. At the same time, it comes with some risk. So do it at your own risk. Let me know what you think, questions, comments, anything that you think I miss or you think you want to add, drop them in the comment section. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated.